In this lesson, we're going to go through price chart bar by bar so we can understand how price action moves and how we can use price action rules to help us navigate to identify high probability setups. The structure is a trading range. We can see clear indecisive structure, ladder up and down. We're going to be reading candlesticks, pure price action. We have, however, one indicator, this 21 bar exponential moving average, but this is a supportive indicator only. So the stock market has opened and we can see prices are creating a brand new uptrend because we have series of multiple bullish bars. So my goal as a price action trader, of course, is to identify the channel, which was fairly easy today to do. So this is the channel I was working with. This uptrend needs to get new extreme as we are right now breaking the channel because I'm following the trend line rule, which says after break of a channel, we're going to get new extreme. So I'm expecting to see confirmation of the bullish momentum of this exponential moving average and notice prices are pulling back to EMA so I'm going to redraw the channel even for this correction prices form a first entry long because we have series of bearish bars and I'm looking for break above these bars high so I have first entry long here trigger above this bar right here pull back and the second entry long is triggering here but notice the second entry long didn't really have a great signal bar the signal bar was doji with the bearish body, a little bit neutral. Follow-up bar has still quite bearish stem, so no really clean way for me to enter. But what I can see, I can see confirmation of the bullish momentum of the exponential moving average. And this is clue that the buyers are still active. And this setup right here is a high-low confirmation setup of this second entry long, which didn't really have a great signal bar. Notice, break new low, so it is safe for me to go long. And it looks like two like a pullback down, which market likes. To move in pairs of twos so this is a high probability setup because it is at the key entry point and is confirming the second entry long and notice i tried to take this trade myself and i was trading live today but i didn't get filled before price reached the scalp now we have new low right here and we have a first entry short pullback second entry short we're counting for shorts because shorts are going to get trapped on the wrong side of the market because this uptrend still needs to get new extreme okay i'm focusing on the short and bias i'm not over complicating this and this is a felt second entry short. Try to take this trade myself as well because I didn't get filled here and I knew that a lot of sellers are going to get trapped selling below this beautiful bearish bar while the uptrend is new high, almost like a double top and you know that a lot of sellers are going to get trapped. It is quite far from EMA so I'm going to mark it as more of aggressive setup. So this is more aggressive. But unfortunately my limit order didn't get filled again. It was just quick, easy scalp. So two high probability setups back to back and you can see we're following the price action rule, market created new high. That means that this uptrend played out and we're observing the overall structure. Because at that point on, the resistance is coming into play. Strong push bill exponential moving average confirming the bearish momentum. So I'm going to redraw the channel again. Okay. Push above EMA and push back below. So this is quite concerning because EMA was supposed to hold. This is lower high. Okay, we're pushing below. So since the uptrend played out, I want to see if the market direction is going to reverse. And for me to do that, I want to safely sell, which is going to be under a reversal pattern, under felt second entry long. So this is the new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. This is what I was expecting. And it never formed. It formed way too down here, which you can't take right here too far from EMA. Downtrend played out with the break new low. It's too late. It really needs to form at the start of the downtrend. Prices are pushing above EMA, so at this point on, this is quite concerning. I'm going to redraw the uptrend. So what can I see? Downtrend with the break new low. By the way, I'm going to zoom out. You can already see some potential bullish imbalance forming. Now, bullish imbalance means that there's a bullish bias in this market because prices are failing to reach the very bottom of this trend range. Each new low is for the most part higher than the previous one. So this is just a little clue that you need to stay on top of when you're trading a trend range. Notice we have a new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. Now we're pushing above EMA and the downtrend played out. So I'm not really interested in selling. And since this is a trend range structure, a lot of whip sewing up and down. I'm basically sticking to the short and channels, not really redrawing it like this. This would be too wide. So if we get a nice felt second entry short above EMA with big bullish bar, I can take it. But it didn't really form well. It is way too big. The skull was made. No clean way to enter. Now we have a break new extreme just like we did here so the uptrend played out i can't really take any long i can't really take the short because it is above ema horrible stem at the bottom so pretty much nothing for me to do but notice we are pushing below ema so i'm going to redraw the channel like this because uptrend played out 
and we're bouncing off the resistance again so when i was watching this i was leaning more towards bearish bias because the resistance just keeps showing the signs of sellers activity we have a lower high after fell second entry long confirmation setup but it's quite low look at these two stems a little bit overlap yeah definitely overlap now so i don't really want to take it you know it worked for a scalp okay we have a first break of this downtrend so I expect to get second entry short. Why? Because this downtrend needs to get new extreme according to rules. All of these short term downtrends, notice, are getting new extreme. I have a new low here where I reset the count. First attempt to sell. And if I get a break above this bar right here and reversal down, we may get a second entry short, but we never get it. We just get a first entry short that managed to create new extreme and big news announcement, strong push above EMA. So you don't want to be trading around the news. However, I'm going to redraw the short and downtrend, excuse me, short and uptrend. You have a break, new extreme. What the price action rules are telling us when it comes to trading range structure, that most breakouts will fail. And notice what happened. Price is pushed all the way back into trading range. Okay, so when I was watching this, I redrew the downtrend like this. Okay. You have a downtrend working lower. I always try to draw these channels. You can see the price action keeps following these shortened channels. If you train your eyes to draw these tight channels and to follow the price action, you can see that there's a reason to these pivots. They will pivot after there's a new extreme. We have a break here. We have a first entry short and I was expecting for prices to form now a second entry short to create new extreme. First of them to sell, pull back. Okay, but we pushed above EMA, which basically negated my initial analysis because i really want to see exponential moving average rejecting prices you have a second entry short here but it is above ema notice you never managed to close fully below at this point on it also got stacked ema in the middle of these bars if you see ema getting in the middle of these bars this can indicate congestion so i can't really go short here i have a felt second entry short but i can't really go long here because the downtrend needs to get new extreme definitely congestion now ema really in the middle of these bars no setup i can't take a short double trap no setup for me here okay new low is not formed and notice market is pushing back above ema so this is where the structure is changing now when i was watching this this was quite confusing but if i'm doing the hindsight analysis i can see that prices are creating series of higher lows okay notice how many higher lows we have and another series of higher lows here so there is a bullish imbalance in this market and this was the pivotal moment because if you pushed above EMA here and market didn't fully create new low this is indicating that we may finally break out the string range to the upside because imbalance may eventually create breakout that will work and this is a high low above the main important key level which now acts as a support above the EMA so this right here is definitely a decent setup to take and notice market keep creating push higher we have felt second entry short new low first entry short pull back second entry short too bad it didn't form closer to EMA, not a horrible setup. I would have preferred closing it a little bit closer. Notice, larger double top. So when I'm watching this, I see double top. I see bullish imbalance. This is confusing structure to me. You know, I don't really like taking any entry. You have a new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long, but you can't take it. You're way too high. Then you have this kind of like a felt second entry short, but it is just unclear. Don't really like it. A market kept pushing higher. And notice how unclear the structure gets at this point on. You can see bullish imbalance overall. So there's a bullish bias. But at the same time, it is very range-like. This is not a strong trend. So this is very difficult price action to navigate. When I was watching this, I think I drew my channel like this. With the break and a new extreme. You have a new high, first entry long pull back second entry long but it is below EMA and market is pushing higher okay so there is definitely bullish bias by the way can you pick a top in this structure we can't really pick a top in this structure because from this point on right here just we, as we talked about this higher low we can see that the bullish bias was established so if we get a nice long setup we can take it but we definitely cannot take short because at this point on we have high highs high lows we definitely don't want to pick top but you want to be careful picking longs because they are not really too clean so I'm just waiting here. I don't have any good wider uptrend. If I get uptrend like this, it also has a break here, new extreme. So really no clean setup here. 
New high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long, but the uptrend has a break in new high. So I can't really take it. Note this market just keeps pushing higher. Okay, so when I was watching this, at this point on, if I'm going to zoom back, I can see that the structure is right now definitely bullish. And after prices pushed above EMA here, this gave me an idea that we may have a much cleaner uptrend like this. Just going to copy it, put it at the top, and notice how nicely it is fitting off the highs. So basically this swing right here confirmed the uptrend. So as I'm playing this structure, the bias is being established. And right now I'm playing uptrend bullish structure. Now there was a felt second entry short. I noticed a couple of traders took new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short failure. But the structure was just not too clear which pattern is the proper one. You really couldn't find this channel until we actually pushed above EMA here. It was also too congestive, too sideways. And this is what can happen when the structure just slowly but surely chopping higher but it is too sideways like a range. I definitely recommend being patient here. I really was patient throughout this area. You definitely don't want to be forcing trades when you're not sure. And you can see that the market is finally pushing higher, confirming our bullish analysis. So I'm looking for high probability setups to go long. New high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. Very single bar, I don't want to take it. But notice we have high low. Can I take this high low? I cannot. Why? Because when I take a look at higher time frames, I can see they're really far away from EMA. But more importantly, notice we're bouncing multiple times off the trend channel line, which is indicating to me that I expect a longer correction, at least to the trend line. For that reason, once I see such a weak high low with such a tiny bar, I'm not interested in taking this high low. In fact, this allows me right now to form a wider downtrend that this correction is in play. So when I was watching this, I didn't like really going short, excuse me, I didn't really like going long because we just bounced off the main trend channel line. Okay, you can see what can happen. Prices are nicely confirming our predetermined key entry point where high probability setup may appear, but the downtrend is in play now. Can't really go long. Can I get high, low or felt second entry short? I can't. All the way up to here, far from EMA. You know, no really clean setup. I can't take it this far from EMA. So you can see very difficult price action, no real setup. When I was watching this, I was still without a single setup because market just is not allowing us to find a good setup. We can see we're going sideways. We have a small little overshoot of the channel. New high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. But I can see that we have small little training range. We have an overshoot which can generate strong momentum in opposite direction. So I can't really take any setup. Now this high low was quite tempting because this high low is confirming the second entry long, but there is no room to these highs. We are in a tight training range. We are after overshoot. It worked, but we just keep working sideways in this consolidation. And notice what happened. This right here is a smaller train range. Prices broke higher and pulled back. You don't want to fade the breakout because it is against the main trend. The main trend is bullish. But there's additional way how to enter congestion and that is a breakout pullback. And notice what you have. New high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long. First leg down, pullback, second leg down. Second entry long, high probability setup. Why? Because the EMA key entry point is holding and this consolidation this is a breakout pullback of the string range with the direction of a trend. So you tested it once, tested it twice, EMA keeps holding, breakout pullback pattern, confirmation, and you can see market created a scalp. Now prices are correcting strongly and we are breaking the main channel. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out to remind myself what is the structure. Okay, notice I'm clearly trading a very strong bullish uptrend. So let me not get ahead. So according to rules, of course, I need to redraw the correction like this. I expect for prices to create new extreme for this uptrend. So I'm just letting the correction play out and I'm watching for prices to push above EMA. I don't want a big bottom. I don't know how long the correction is going to be. I don't know how wide the potential downtrend is. I'm just watching for prices to push above EMA to confirm the bullish momentum and give me a felt second entry short. 
nothing here nothing here again okay so this can happen the trend to the upside was quite strong so we may have longer correction i'm still thinking bullish following the rules okay we have high low but the high low has horrible bearish bar can we get a felt second entry short it looked hopeful but we didn't get felt second entry short okay at this point on i'm still leaning towards market creating new high i have a set of rules that i follow i cannot cherry pick i have to follow the rules i have to stick to the probabilities because just because it's not reacting here now that doesn't mean the next time eight or nine times out of ten it's not going to happen okay nine times out of ten you're going to get new high and you can see that the market never created new high and instead strongly sold off so this can happen and once you already see market pushing lower like this you have to forget about market creating new extreme you already retraced too far of the uptrend you're way too far down and this sell-off is way too strong so what i'm going to do i need to adapt to the structure structure right now is downtrend we didn't get new high and that's okay that can sometimes happen you can see the market just sold off so switch the bias adapt and trade the market you get not the market you want so we have a bearish bias working over bearish channel notice first break of the channel so according to rules we expect for downtrend to create new extreme i want to sell a high probability setup i want to sell second entry short new low formed first entry short can i get second entry short not really signal bar is bullish i cannot sell below this bar follow a bar for double bar entry is bad as well half of this body is a bullish tail so unfortunately i need to be patient market created sideways and notice what we have we have sort of like a triple test confirmation here bounce here and bounce here so i can see right now that this uptrend has a break two small legs to a new extreme so notice you have small leg here small leg here new high form but this is also one big leg here and the second big leg here so this right here even though it is not technically a second entry short is a triple test setup triple test setup you expect according to rules to create new extreme ema keeps holding the resistance keeps holding definitely more advanced but you have a lot of confirmations here so if you're an advanced chart reader you can consider taking this entry you really want to see a lower high but you never get nice lower high okay notice new low formed first entry short pull back second entry short and this is interesting pattern because downtrend created a break new extreme yes but notice what is happening you have a second entry short normally you are not interested in taking second entry short so quickly after new low but this particular second entry short is also a breakout pullback just like we had breakout pullback here we have another breakout pullback here because we broke the trading range came back tested it twice tested it once tested it twice ema keeps holding great bearish signal bar and this really looks visually like a nice to like a pullback and the uptrend played out so this is a decent second entry short because it is combined with the breakout pullback pattern you tested this train range and the ema keeps holding prices again and notice market keeps working lower just going to zoom out remind myself the structure now when i'm watching price action like this and we have multiple legs to new extreme remember if you have so many legs to new extreme there's a possibility for wider channel and how do we generally identify channels well there may be some geometric formations at the highs or the lows of the channels and if i'm gonna take a step back i can see that we have formation right here a series of lower highs sloping lower possibly indicating potential channels so what i'm going to do just look for possible channel like this i already have three swing confirmation so this is definitely indicating possible channel put it at the bottom and if this channel is going to get confirmed i'm going to be playing downtrend right now this is just an idea but notice in the meantime i'm respecting the shortened channel i need to always redraw these corrections because they will help me to stay on the right side of the market because if this correction is in play i cannot sell especially after new low okay prices are pushing here i'm not interested in going long i have new high for the uptrend bias is bearish 
Okay, market is working higher. And notice market is confirming my key entry point. Okay, so this is interesting. Can it get some reaction? Okay, and we have strong reaction. So this is perfect. So if I'm going to see that we have first leg here, kind of like a larger visual tool, like a pullback, we overshot a little bit. That's okay. The key entry point is coming to wait. Notice two confirmations of the lows. So the bias is bearish. And this is how you can identify just by reading the naked chart price session. How you can identify the beginning of a channel and you can identify what's going to be a new structure. So you don't need no indicator, no stochastic, Wyckoff, RSI, none of that stuff. Just pure following the bias, following the price session and looking for these clues that can help you to predict spot like this. However, we're not sure if it's going to hold. We cannot blindly pick a top because there's quite a long area without a confirmation. And notice new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long failure. So this right here is a felt second entry long reversal pattern, high probability setup. This is my first trade for the day. I took it also because it was also second entry short, new low, first entry short, second entry short. I took it on engulfing, but you can see it ticked lower and even came back. So we had a chance to use limit order. I'm going to redraw a channel. So I'm playing the bearish bias. Upchain played out. Key entry point was confirmed and I'm looking for high probability setups to sell. Can we get another second entry short? We cannot. Okay, so right now the bias is bearish. I'm looking for second entry short high probability setup. Can we get it? First entry short, okay. Okay, can you get second entry short and we can't get second entry short. So nothing for me to do. I just need to wait. Market keeps pushing lower. Okay, new low. This is where we set the count. Bias is still bearish. I'm looking for high probability setup at the EMA, second entry short, and I only get first entry short again. So that can happen. I can force it. Okay, we have another first entry short and market keeps pushing here. Okay, so I'm going to redraw the channel because we are very close to creating matching lows here and this is unproportionate. So I'm going to create new high because you can see this is tiny lag. This cannot be new high for this lag because this is three times as big as this is right here. So this is not proportionate. This option is in place. So I can't really sell. You have a new high first entry long, second entry long failure, but it triggered below bullish bar. Can't really take it. Uptrend can get new high. Not really interested. Okay. Notice another confirmation of this key entry point. Also a little break and notice count reset new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. So this is not a bad setup if you're more advanced trader, but I feel it's a little bit more aggressive. You want to see push below EMA? You want to see lower high? Can you get lower high? You can't. You completely push back above EMA, negated the lower high. Notice you have a bearish bar here, but it is above EMA. You really want to see confirmation of bearish momentum. If there is going to be sell side liquidity here, you're going to push strongly below. EMA is going to hold, but it's not happening. Three big bullish bars pushing above EMA, indicating some support. You want to see felt second entry long to trap longs. New high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long failure. There is no trap, however. Market continues working higher. Notice new high. Okay. First leg up, pull back, second leg up. Almost perfect measured move, indicating depletion for this correction. Same scenario right here. First break of this channel. So what do you expect according to trend line rules? Notice this is a clearly working downtrend. We expect for this downtrend to form new extreme. And since uptrend played out with larger tool like a pullback, I can actually believe we can have move like this. And yeah, we have perfect measured move and also the little treat. We have first leg here, pull back second leg here. So there are two legged moves inside of two legged moves. So we have larger two legged correction that played out. Uptrend created break new high. Are we looking for channel like this? We are not because this is too wide. We are sticking with the main bias. The main bias is bearish. And if we are trying to draw trend lines for the bullish trends, we are drawing them tight. These bullish trends are reversal attempts and most reversal attempts during trends will fail. So we are drawing them tight for the most part. Okay. You're drawing wider 
the moves with the trend but if you're drawing the trends against the main bias you're drawing them tight because they tend to not work the wide ones and you're pushing strongly below ema and you have lower high so this is lower high confirmation of the visual to like a pullback you need to get new extreme downtrend has a break high probability setup and notice the momentum on the signal bar it ticked higher instantly reversed down closing on its very low indicating strong selling pressure big reversal bar at the ema quick high probability setup and you can see market starting to go a little bit sideways let me see this new high first entry loan pullback second entry loan failure you know it is actually the market is about to close here soon but let's say it is not at the close this is not a bad setup too new high first entry long second entry long you can see it is a little bit stacked because you would expect to get a break below this bearish bar then you have bullish bar and this bar however you know this is a decent setup of course this is at the close so you don't want to be trading at the close so let's say hypothetically this is not at the close this is at the beginning of the session you know this is not the bad setup to take a chance it would have ended up failing but it can happen you have to follow the rules you cannot cherry pick okay if setup looks good you have to take it because other than that you're just gonna never be successful you're just gonna be running in a circle you have to follow the rules and work the numbers the more setups the more good setups you take the more you will come out on top and notice new low first entry short pull back second entry short so now that i'm watching this i even like this setup because this is now second entry short continuation of the felt second entry long oh but i can see there is no trigger below this bar that i marked so by the time you get a second entry short it is right here you know it looks like a visual to like a pullback it doesn't really look bad you know not a bad stuff you can see it worked quite like it to notice to like a pullback but the downtrend still needs to get new extreme and you can see market already closed hard day to trade there were a couple of decent setups i tried to record my session i tried to take these trades there really weren't that many setups after that and then i ended up taking this one trade which at that point i wasn't even recording because it was too late so i decided to go back and do bar by bar so i hope the video was helpful educational i'm gonna see you guys in the next one Take care, buddy.